Yo, what the fuck is up? I've been hearing a lot of crazy shit about this. The person that put me onto this is uh, motherfucking Carl, and he's here in the Discord shit. Hey, Carl. Yippee. Yo. <laughs> um, let's check this out. Let's see what the crazy shit is about. Boom. This game is not suitable for children of those who are easily disturbed. Now, if you're easily disturbed, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For contest warning, please visit. Oh, this is going to make it so much better then. <laughs> yes, sir. Playing Doki Doki Literature, you agree that you are at least sick 13? Yes, ma'am. I want to see the mummies. I'll hold up. Love you soundtrack right here. Da -da 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 Doki Doki. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Let's turn that down a little bit. Boom. What? Turn it back on. <laughs> um. Uh oh. Uh. I can't hear the game on your stream. Wait, what? I can't hear the game on your Discord stream, not Twitch stream. Oh. Really? What the fuck? How do I fix that? Maybe. I think it's because you switched it from... Oh, uh, screens? Maybe. Alright, let me see. Let's put that there. Let's put you here. Boom. Boom. What about now? Uh... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh... Good title? Good name? <laughs> yeah, man, that's a great name. <laughs> Confirm uh <laughs> Oh fuck I can't okay. Um I just put that. I can't put numbers? Oh my god. No. Um 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 fuck. Okay, yellow. There you go. Yellow. Oh boy, here we oh, go. I should probably switch my cameras. Oh man, my lens. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. This girl. <laughs> this girl is Say Re, my neighbor, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know? I pronounced uh, Say Ori, I'm pretty sure. The kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've never, you've known each other for so long. We used to walk around. Uh, okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. You want me to? You want me to read it for you? Uh, yeah. All right. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Oh. <clears throat> However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk. And let's say catch up to me. Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe the only because... Maybe... <clears throat> maybe but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. <laughs> That's mean, Miguel. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine. <laughs> Fine. But you didn't wait for me after all. Uh, I start school next month. I gotta wear my brace to school for a while. Hey, W Riz, you gonna uh, pull? You gonna pull some chicks? But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean. Even if you want to. Whatever you say. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Dog, it's not that hard to say your name. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. <gasps> By the way, Miguel, have you decided to join our club yet? A club? 
I told you already, I'm really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> you told me you want to join this club. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. And one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Everyone likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on an average while spending my free time on games and anime. Oh, I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming an NEET in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look for a few clubs if that makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. <laughs> Pookie Diamond 69. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. The school <laughs> day, Pookie era, is an ordinary as ever. As is be that's over before I knew it. Maybe the teachers, but the teachers are men. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, milk racing teachers. Okay, just look for the English teachers. After a pack of my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs? Blah, wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sbrrra! must have come into class from while I was spacing out. I look around to realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Oh shit, it's about to go down. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Hey, yo. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes? I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. Know what? But that you could come to my club. Sorla? Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. Ah, meanie. <laughs> I know. Sumula is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had an interest. Oh, that literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Fist bump? Fist bump. Don't make me- don't make promises you can't keep. I can tell if Sayuru is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let it out- I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> we should play Family Feud next time? Okay. And thus today marks the day I sold myself for a cupcake. <laughs> okay, EDP. <laughs> I dejectedly follow several out across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for the third year. <sighs> Classes and activities. 
Doors that are full of energy swings up. Open the classroom doors. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Ugh. I glance around the room. Oh, God. Damn. I, I know for a fact she's going to be your favorite. Uh, You want to be a girl one? <laughs> uh, Sure. Yeah, why not? Over it. <laughs> Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meet you. No, 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 <laughs> All right. So you're always saying nice things about you. Okay. All right. Seriously, you brought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Miguel. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club. Is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S -s Sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> oh my god. I found my fem femboy. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes according to Sorora. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sorora says that quietly into my ears, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yummy, the smartest in the club. <laughs> yummy? Oh, that's Yummy. Okay, okay, okay. It's Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> Go, yummy. <laughs> Don't say things like that. <laughs> <laughs> yummy who appears. <laughs> 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 yummy who appears comparably more mature and timid seems to have a hard time keeping over the people like Sayumura and Nasuki. <sighs> Well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Monica! Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Miguel. Monica smiles sweetly. Hey, yo, she want me for real, for real. Oh, Chris. We don't, we do, <clears throat> we don't, <clears throat> we do know each other well, and we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Miguel. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. This one. This one. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. S sorry, I got a little ex too excited. Then how about I make some tea as hey, well? Hey, I don't think you're voicing yummy. <clears throat> the girls, <laughs> the girls <laughs> have a few dust arranged to form a table. As I mentioned, it's between it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Subura. Nasuki and Yomi walked over to the corner of the room where Nasuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yomi opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to blah, blah, blah. Nasuki probably marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Uh, <laughs> Nasuki lifts the foil <laughs> off the tray to reveal. <laughs> A dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate or used to make ears. So cute. Uh, I, playing? I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick. Okay. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Nasuki. Eh, uh, well, you know, just hurry and take one. So you sort of grabs the one first, then Monica, I follow. 
It's delicious. Sarah takes, uh, talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Nasuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her. Sneaking glances in my direction. She is waiting for me to take a bite. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Nasuki. Wh why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I thought I heard this somewhere before. Made them for you or anything. Ah, that you technically did. What I said. Well, maybe, but not for you. You know, you dummy. All right, all right. I gave up on the sucky weird and weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yummy returns to the table. Carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to her cupcake tray. Keep a whole tea set in this classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. <laughs> Should I do a girl voice? <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you, dude. <clears throat> okay, no, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I, you try for this sentence. <laughs> I can't do it without Don't laughing. Worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I can't. Oh my god. Okay. After all, does a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? <laughs> oh, ah, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yummy's just trying to impress you. Oh, that's not insulted. Yummy looks away. I meant that, you know. <laughs> I believe you. Well, tea and reading might be might not be past time for me, but at least I know. At least I enjoy tea. <laughs> I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. <laughs> Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? <laughs> um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me that I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged by Rula. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Rula seems really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Well, maybe... Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? <laughs> <laughs> As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. Why did your voice change? How come you decided to start your own club? You would probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if you encourage others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also, Yummy also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. <sighs> you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when, some, when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. For mixed school events like festivals, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all re really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. <laughs> everyone <laughs> is <theater> <clears throat> agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. 
Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Hey, that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Oh fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I'm playing Rainbow on the side. <laughs> So Miguel, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. M manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yummy's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yummy? <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> Yummy traces the oh. Yummy traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. <laughs> My favorites are usually novels that build up deep and complex complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. <laughs> and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yumi goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Yo, those are bars! <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read horror book once. I desperately grasp something that I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yummy might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't expect expected that, Yummy. For someone as gentle as you. Yo. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... That's the case I dart over, for me for <clears throat> over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Nasuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. Yeah, your cookies, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Right. Saru uh, sa sidles up behind Nasuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute. <laughs> Asaki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Nasuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. <laughs> you must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerability, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yummy? Maybe you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess this 
is the same for Yummy. Ah. I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. That's the game Yummy look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. Damn, look at her fucking nails. Holy shit, I just saw that. <laughs> that way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other. And strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Miguel? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Ah, uh, what's that? Now that we're back at the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth what, what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Laura may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um, I lost my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but. I'm sorry. I, I thought. Hmm. Miguel. You, you all. I am defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That's... That is... If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Yeah, dude, come on, say less. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy. Sarah wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, oh, hey! It really did scare me for a moment. <laughs> if Jaylee just came for the cookies, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Miguel! I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> it, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yummy and Nasuki clean up their food. Hey Miguel, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sarura and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! But as the two of us depart the club room and make our way home, the whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sarula, Asuki, Yami, and of course, Monica. Well, I'd really be happy spending well, I really be ha happy spending every day after seeing after after, after school in the literature club. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right, I just need to make m the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh my God! So much fucking reading. <laughs> It's time to write your poem. Poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem. Ooh. So yeah, basic, so okay. Who's the who's your favorite character? Uh, her. Okay. So any word that can be like horror related, pick it. Wait, but how do how do I make sure I pick in the right person? Uh, they'll jump. So uh, click frightening and you'll see Yuri like, or sorry, yummy, like jump. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, anything like, horror with her? Yeah. Or like, um, anything that's like 
fantasy related. So like destiny maybe? Yeah, there you go. Uh dark or mm, no. Oh fuck. <laughs> um <laughs> secretive? Uh, uh okay. Oh, yeah. there we go. Contamination could be cool. <laughs> I'm I'm curious. How how do you think this story is gonna change into horror? Hmm. Maybe the person that I pick is going to kill the the rest. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Let's see. Hopeless, Tennessee, fickle, calm, incongruent. I feel like contamination will be. Yeah. Good? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> This zone, I mean, that's probably the best extreme, extraordinary whisper pressure. Suicide. <laughs> I love her already. Chocolate after image vibrate. Incapable. Kawaii. Uh, uncanny kawaii effulgence. Philosophy. Yes. Only jelly, vanilla, papa, bed, whirlwind, lollipop, pink, smile. Um, um, this one? Only no, jelly? No. Maybe whirlwind? Yeah. Music sunny. If she doesn't like music, fuck her. Um, um, <laughs> vitality? Vitality? Yes. There you go. Covered it. Uh, agonizing, probably agonizing. Meager jump up a strawberry. Uh, infinite. Really? Yeah. Fun fact yummy is the Japanese term for the word lily. Okay. Promise, probably scars. Journey or, uh, or mis misfortune, huh? Yeah, misfortune. I need yummy <laughs> scars. Yeah, yeah, scars. Ah! Oh. <laughs> uh, pain. Ambient, ambient. I feel like the girl with the red uh, bow is like OD crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, flea for now. Yes. Shame, shame, shame. Yeah, shame. Right. Variants, maybe? Yes. Yeah. Fear. Definitely fear. Yeah, fear. Yes. No! Fuck. Uh, Catherine of un okay. Unrestrained Love. Eternity. Eternity. Dude. Yeah. Red, red bows is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, the. Mm -hmm. A tone? No, that's probably crazy chick. Judgment, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Vivid. Climax? Yes! Uh... Infallible? Prayer? Uh, uh, prayer, maybe. Fuck! Fuck. That's okay, we, we mainly got yummy, so... Hi, Gamigo. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but... At least I keep my word. Going back at Literature Club. I was... The last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your. Hey. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thanks for keeping your promise, Miguel. <laughs> I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. <laughs> Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Okay, come on. Lucky deserves any slack. Tell me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Asuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Nasuki finds herself stuck between, say, Monica and Manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Nasuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Miguel, as always, gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. That's because your room is so messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that? Uh, uh, 
Oh really my friend, god, you fucking whore. What? Jesus Christ. Someone played the fucking gunshots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you and Miguel can become good friends too? Uh, um. As hmm. As usual, it seems obviously obvious to the weird situation to just put me into. Uh oh, Yuri, <clears throat> Yami even brought you something today, you know. Wait, Sayori. Huh? Me? Uh, n not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Hey, yo! Oh. <laughs> Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? What, what do I do? <laughs> eh, I'm sorry, Yummy. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah. I'll make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Uh, Alright. Well, here. Yummy reaches into your bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know... Hey, yo! Discuss it. Ba, 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 ba. I'm on that. D <laughs> this is. How's this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she'll, she thinks I'll like despite me not reading really much. Yummy. Thank you. I'll definitely read this. I. Uh, <clears throat> take the book. <laughs> Phew. Well. You can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Lula and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yummy's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nasuki is rummaging around in the closet i'm really curious to talk to yummy a little bit more at the same time i would feel bad for distracting her from reading i catch a glimpse of the cover of her book looks like the same book that she lent to me more than that she seems to be on the first few pages ah crap i think she noticed me looking at her oh my god that is such an awkward situation <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She sneaks another glance at me, and her eyes meet up for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. Mm, okay. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so. That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh. Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. Uh, that's not what I meant. 
I mean, whoa! I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yummy isn't telling me, but I decided to let her go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts picked up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What is it about anyway? Well... Mm. Yummy closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. <clears throat> Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. Oof. What the fuck is this relatable? <laughs> <laughs> and while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life still starts to fall apart. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? It made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yummy gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Miguel? No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah. I totally forgot about Yummy is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories... They challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. And suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... Make out with me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. <laughs> when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Hmm. And please stop me if I'm starting to talk too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is to listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh... That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me guess. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I set it here, right? I slip it. I slip into the seat next to Yummy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little appre uh, <clears throat> apprehensive. <clears throat> That's. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. <laughs> That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I, saw, I soon understand what Yumi means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. 
It's not a particular bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yummy is the corner of my eye. I realize that she's actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I, I was just... Yummy really apologize a lot, don't you? You really apologize a lot, don't you? I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here. This should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yumi's, then hold my book oh. more between the two of them. Hey, yo! Come give me a smooch, Miguel. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I suppose so. Yumi timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. <laughs> It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yummy takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yomi slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. And holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yomi's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? I turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a little dis uh, I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yomi's face again, and our sure. eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Yo, look at her face. Oh! Treat me like <laughs> Don't get me dirty. Let's go! <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I could do. <laughs> fuck? Dude, I can't get enough of that fucking voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hilarious. Since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yummy no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, yummy. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things that she says and does. Like, she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything but they're kind of a reminiscence of some of your mannerisms i, I see let me remain silent for a moment but miguel that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her uh that's so embarrassing that you think of that what wait I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I I really don't know where... I, I <clears throat> Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess more meant that it's kind of cute. Uh, uh... What are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone. I think it's about time we share today's poem with each other. 
We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Y yummy, ex <clears throat> yummy, Excel spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yummy? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It's fine. Yummy re releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. All right. I guess I'll do more reading tonight. Or would you prefer Ani read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up, I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write the poem last night? Y yeah? My realization ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. And Monica pulls out their poems. Lula is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Asuki and Yami reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I'll, I do the same myself. Who should I show? <laughs> yes, sir. Wait, you're Yummy, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yummy seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. Hey, yo! I can trust her opinion to be fair. As Yummy reads the poem, I notice her her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Ah, uh, what was that? D did I say that out loud? Yumi first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I... Uh... Oh shit. He's going to hate me. <laughs> um... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yumi. Uh, that's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> <laughs> Let me take a breath. So. What kind of writing experience do you have? The use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Oh? Yummy stares at me blankly, then looks at my poems again. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yummy trails off, unable to find an excuse. We're saying yummy because, uh, it's an inside thing. Yummy the uh, rapper. On the creator. She traces her finger along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And I haven't been through that myself. I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. 
Once Yomi finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you could be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go in writing even a single poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. Damn, this soundtrack is fucking heat. <laughs> I know. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Bias? How? Uh, um. Well. Never mind. I should be talking. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yomi is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Nasaki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. Please do. <clears throat> hey. <laughs> I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yomi smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which it's. <coughs> it's always kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a, a literature club? Ghosts. You wanna read it or me? Uh, you go ahead. Alright. It's gonna be kind of hard. I hate reading cursive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll do it. You'll do your version and I'll do my version. <laughs> alright, alright. <clears throat> Ghost under the light. Okay, I'm not doing that. <laughs> do it, dude. Go on. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> That's too loud. My fucking siblings knock the fuck out in the next room, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking like Harry Potter fucking narrator. <laughs> We're getting real up close to this one. Okay. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. <laughs> it must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. What the fuck does that say? Calms. <laughs> Calms breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. <laughs> okay, hell yeah. That's like <laughs> some Hogwarts shit right there. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Under the light, <laughs> the tendrils of my hair illuminating beneath the amber glow. I think it must be this one. <laughs> the last remaining street light to have it was told of task of time. <laughs> the last yet to be replaced by the second in blue green. You of the future. I bathe. Oh, it comes. Breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. That was great. <laughs> Dude, have you seen a goofy movie? I have not, no. What? Okay, okay, okay. Here, here. Hopefully this shit doesn't get my stuff blocked, but... Uh, here, I, ca I gotta show you what I was trying to recreate. <laughs> alright, alright, but... Alright, let's see, where is it? Boom. Boom. Alright. Alright, let's see. Goofy. Movie. What you're saying? <gasps> oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, okay, yeah. <laughs> Light. Light. Damn, it's kind of quiet. <laughs> it's like a lime. It's tart and tangy. Yeah, oh. Sweet. Oh, so sublime. Quiet. Yo. Speechless like hmm. a mime. Bold and noisy like a crime. Right, right. 
Don't you dare waste my time, cause life can stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I was trying to do that, but it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 let's see. Let's see. Let's go back into it. Yeah. Oh boy. Alright, do you see it? Do you hear it? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. Handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. <sighs> well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Oh. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Mm. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yummy? Uh, uh <laughs> that's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Miguel. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being sim symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Uh, it's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so. <laughs> nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, maybe, Kel. <laughs> ah, me too. <laughs> okay. What do you want to do next? Um... <clears throat> Let's do with Surla. Alright. This is a good poem, Miguel. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I that kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? Uh, I guess you're right, but that's why it's impre it impressed me. But to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy you just that you wrote one. Just reminds me of how you're really part of this club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <clears throat> er, well, of course. I'm not really into it, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before Miguel. You dumb, you're not selfish at all, you know? Try new things like this for other people. That's something that only real good people do. Thanks, Sir Lula. I'm not sure if Lula sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I join. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> I got this. I right. got this. <clears throat> Dear Sunshine, 
The way you glow through my blinds in the morning. It makes me feel like you've missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. This is just, I guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice or... How should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get, I get all cranky. <laughs> well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyways, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Alright. Let's talk about Miguel, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. God, Jesus. <laughs> God, wh what? Horrors. What do you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. Well, I'll start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painfully to think about. Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'll tell you what. To improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyways, I guess I gotta share mine now. Damn, she's very fucking... Oh, she's very fucking bitchy. Yeah. No, knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Do you <laughs> wanna read it or me? It? You got it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> all right, all right. Eagles can fly. <laughs> Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. <laughs> Eagles can fly. People can fly. But that's about it. You go, Great. girl. <laughs> <laughs> yas. <laughs> Um, yeah. I'm bad myself. <laughs> <laughs> I told that I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like this? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. But people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style won't <clears throat> your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. I could settle for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps brings out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went to that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here. Did you? Yeah. Guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. 
I don't really care how old everyone is, but Nasuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. <sighs> One more. <laughs> yes, sir. Monica. Hi, Miguel. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring this up, okay? Alright. I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Miguel. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's a sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I have Monica, my poem. Hmm. Great job, Miguel. Hey, yo! Mommy vibes? I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really a metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> that's very, that's not very fair. But I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yummy likes this kind of writing, right? Ooh! But writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike a blah. Likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yummy likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write. Like the effectively both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel. Or letting deep letting them deeply analyze all of the new nonsense nuisance. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yummy has at this point. I never really asked though. I'm sure. I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kind of styles. I always keep you find what suits you the most. But don't force yourself to write the way everyone wants you to write. It's like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> Anyway, do you, you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have sound confident. I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's a lot. All right. <clears throat> Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No! I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Bravo. <laughs> so, what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform. It's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it really it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm sure if I know how to put it, I guess you could say that. 
I had some kind of infinity recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An infinity? In infinity? <clears throat> yeah, some, yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of uh, coming on strongly. Maybe everyone's better friends with each other. Anyways, here's Monica writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. You try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a big dark puddle of, pe of ink. So just move your head and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Is that if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities? Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is just literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Trilla and Monica are happily chatting. My, my eyes land at Yummy and Nasuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respecti re re <clears throat> respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Nasuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yami smiles sadly. What's with this language? Uh, uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Nasuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Here's his cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean, you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm... If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, uh, by the way. I know that I liked it. And Miguel did too. Whoa. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Hmm. Miguel liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. That's like he suddenly stands up. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yummy. Uh uh. Goofy ass me. <laughs> That's not what I. Uh. You're just. Yummy stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Miguel appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Hmm. Huh? Why did you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I. No. If I was full of myself. I would be deliberately, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh. Uh, um? Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't that... <laughs> I, was... <laughs> I wasn't the one whose booze magically grew his size bigger as soon as Miguel started showing up. Okay, alright. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve, this doesn't involve you. <laughs> I, I don't like fighting, guys. 
suddenly both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Miguel. She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out of the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain to her, Miguel! Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Miguel? <laughs> um... Well... well <laughs> <laughs> how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. Who, who am I? <clears throat> who, <clears throat> who am I? <clears throat> Whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <laughs> Come on now. Oh. oh, okay. <laughs> You're right that I like your poem. That's lucky, see? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone. Wait, oh, hey, did I pick the wrong person? No, no, right. no, you picked Gary, yeah. Okay, okay. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yami wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Um, I understand. Yami? Uh. You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, you're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Nasuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that. I... I'm sorry. Ugh. But Nasuki, you took it way too far. Emmy means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding me? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Nasuki! I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. You want me to apologize? Don't you think you should too? Mmm... Nasuki clenches her fist. And then... Nobody has taken her side. She trapped... She's trapped. At this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her but uh, um sometimes when i'm hurt it helps to take a walk and clear my head she doesn't need to you know what i'm going to do that now spare me from having to look at all your faces right now without warning nasuki snatches her own poem from her desk and storms out on her way out, she crumbles up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Asuki, you really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yami has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit an adjacent chair. Uh, Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well. Alright, I believe you. Thanks, Miguel. You're too kind. I'm thankful I have you a part of this club now. Er, it's nothing. One more thing. Uh, that one thing that Natsuki said. About, you know. <laughs> I would never do anything so shameful. So. Huh? 
What do you mean, a suki, sir? Uh, um. Well, never mind that. I I'm gonna go make some tea. Ah, good idea. Thank you, not for more than one person, okay? Y yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well. Well, hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Miguel, how about you? Yeah, I say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Maybe you learn something about your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those who I want to impress. Nodded to myself with a newfound determination. Miguel, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> oh, that beams at me. It truly has been a while since Roga and I have spent this much time together. Can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Blah. But what happened earlier? Huh? What do you mean? You know, between Yomi and Asuki? That kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. Let's see why they make good friends with you. Oof. You know, Miguel? It's nice that I got to spend time with you in the club. I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. I think everyone really likes you too. That's... Uh, every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> Looks like it uh, still hasn't caught onto the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? We just have to see what the future holds. I pat on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than her, but it's easy to use Rula as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh. Okay. Good place to stop? Yeah. I was gonna say, I kinda wanna stop. <laughs> That's just long as fuck. <laughs> yeah. What are you thinking of the game so far, though? An hour and 30 minutes. Holy fuck. Um, yeah, we're, we're getting to the juicy stuff. Don't worry. <laughs> See, let's make sure it's saved because, you know, yeah. I should want to... Yeah, it's a save. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's cool, you know? Here's yeah, it's definitely a slow start, but trust me, once we get to that moment, mm -hmm. it picks up. It definitely picks up. And how long did you say the game is? Um, I'd say you're like 80% done. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Maybe like hmm. 20. Yeah. Okay, I'd say, I'd say whenever you reach that point where the game starts to change is like around 40 to 50% of the game. Oh, okay. That's, that's I think, not... you've, I think you've reached like maybe 15 to 20%. Uh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, this is definitely something that um, is going to take time <laughs> to do because yeah, this is, uh, vocally, this is exhausting. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, oh, God. I lost my voice playing this game. <laughs> I, I have 18 hours on it just because of the amount of times I've, like, <laughs> replayed it for friends to watch. <laughs> And like, there was this one mod that I downloaded that's like a... It's not canon, but it's like a continuation of the story. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like after, uh, like, uh, roughly a five-hour stream, you know, it does get a little exhausting. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, bye, YouTube. Bye.